Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to continue working with materials even further. They're really important and fun. So now, here's the same sphere and plane from the previous lesson. And in this case, I just have the blue, green, and the yellow assigned to the sphere, and these three assigned to the plane, as you can see in the list up here. All right, sometimes you want to be able to select different materials, though, or different objects. And, you know, normally you hold down the shift key and you select that object at the same time. But maybe I want to select all objects in the scene that are based on a particular material. And so I can do that. So in this case, I have a green. They all look pretty unique. I think those are different blues. Let's see, is that blue sphere? Yeah, that's blue plane and blue sphere. So that's not going to work. So let's just, for the moment, let's change this blue. We can grab the blue plane up here and we'll turn that into yellow. All right. So that's the only yellow that's of all the textures in that we have here. So now I'll just deselect that. I'll deselect it. Now go over to select and then you can come up here and you can select linked and you can link this basically you can select by material either shift L like this so then with I have this yellow selected in the list up here so that should pick that out even though that even though it's not highlighted it was the last object in the scene so it should pick it up if not we'll have to pick it up but shift L so it picks up both objects like that so let's try something else. Let's do it by green and turn everything off and then select linked material and it only selects that object because that's the only one that has the green in it like that and well, I can't turn it to red because red would pick that up like that. I'll come down here same thing I'll I'll pick red like that turn everything off whoops turn everything off and select linked by material and it just picks up that red. Well, so that should clue you into everything else that this link is good for because you could have multiple particle systems, uh, textures, things like that. So that's a really powerful way because you might have certain objects scattered throughout your scene and you only want certain ones. And maybe you've grouped them by, maybe you're grouping them by color and you only want to select them by color. And that gives you a lot of control. And there's another thing that's really powerful as well. Let me just add a few cubes to the scene here. Let's see. I'll give this a, well, I don't know, an orange color like that in here. And then I'll, I'll just copy that, sh Shift D, Y. Now notice that I did that. Now it shows me right here there's two copies of orange. And it doesn't show me down here there's a zero when there's none like that. But it tells me there's two copies that have orange. So I'll do Shift D, Y again. So I get a better do Shift D, Y. Suddenly there's three, shift D, Y, suddenly there's four copies. Now if I wanted to go make those individual colors, so there's a couple ways I do it. Some, if I just go here and I want to change it to, say, a single color in the list, maybe I want to change them to this red. If I pick red, you'd see it changes it in this list like that. Here, and let me see, or if I change it down in here, like this, it changes all of them. Like that. All right. So maybe I want, if I don't want them to all change, then that's where I have to either press U and I make it a single user material like this, or I just click this number four button and it makes it its own, I'll call it orange, like that. And then these are all the same and this one's no longer the same it's basically that's why there's only three copies of these now only one copy of this now I can change this to maybe a different color like this and it's unique like this but now if you have say for instance lots and lots of objects say of this material in the scene sometimes you want to just change a couple of them you can grab an existing color like let's say this green that I have active right here and then Maybe I want to change, you know, a bunch of things. Like maybe I want to then pick, or maybe I'll, I'll do it differently. I'll pick this one, and this one, and this one, and let's say I want to change those all to green. All right, so what I can do is I can then click this one and make sure that that green is the last one in there. And then what I do, I can press Control L, and what it makes a link and I want to link it to the material so the, it's going to link it to the last material that's selected control L 
So I link it to the material, and basically, since the green was the last material that's selected like that, then it'll turn them all green, like that. So notice the what the command is: make links to those materials. Versus when you select, we selected linked materials. So they kind of work back and forth with each, with each other. So I would recommend practice using those a lot because they're super useful trust me they they can save you from doing a lot of repetitive grab this change that you know or yeah i had to learn the hard way before i figured it all out okay well that's it for now and i'll see you in the next lesson